Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing the first modification to my Audi A7. Now some of you that have been watching the vids over the last couple of weeks, you'll notice that I picked up my new Audi A7. It's new to me, it is a used car and this Audi A7 replaced my old Audi A7, which again was the same model, but this one's got pretty much everything that I wanted on it. So this car is in white and it's got pretty much all the bells and whistles on it as much as I wanted but it's still looking that little bit corporate and my aim with my cars is to make them look less corporate and just add my own little touch to them. Now again some of you will already know that my previous Audi A7 I installed a Maxton kit splitter side skirt and a spoiler and when I traded that car in for this one I removed all of that kit. Now the splitter had already split so I'll RIP to that and I think back to the bin but I've got the side skirts and I've got the spoiler. now. In this vid today, I'm going to be installing the spoiler because it's quite easy to do. The, the side skirts will need uh, soft tapers, so you've got to get the car jacked up and stuff, and I don't really have the time for that in this vid today, but I will get onto that at some point. So with me right now is the spoiler that I pulled off the car. I've given it a, a bit of a clean, and I've applied new backing tape. So this is a double-sided tape. Uh, the original spoiler, I think, came with 3M tape, which is quite strong but I've never had a problem using the tape that I've now put onto this one. This is straight off Halfords. I'll drop the, uh, the link in for the product in the description of this vid. So the next step is to go to the car and give the bodywork a bit of a clean, especially where you are going to be bonding this spoiler. So let's go over and get that done. Let me know what you think of how the car now looks with the Maxton spoiler installed. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I think it looks pretty good because I've got the black spoiler now finishing off the white paintwork as well. And I think this contrast is just amazing. Uh, it's pretty much like the way my M4 is as well, black and white. So I'm trying to achieve the same thing on this limo. Um, one other thing that I'm probably going to do is stick out with like say the black four rings and the either debadge or black lettering let me know what you think of that kind of vibe as well one other thing that i have got is in my view of making this car look a little bit less corporate i've been supplied with some quattro decals which are going to fit on the rear doors not usually like a massive decal fan but well i can't say that i did have a three series which was slapped on with like the performance decals as well so yeah i'm going to give these a go if they look good, they'll stay on. If they don't look good, I'll take them off. Let's go and apply these to the car.
spoiler is on and the decals are on. Let me now know guys in the comment section below if you haven't done so already what you think of these small modifications. I'm not a huge fan of decals although I did have a G23 series and they did have decals like the in performance ones on there. These ones obviously are safe and quattro. I'm about 60-40 towards them at the moment. The next rid is going to be where I put on the side skirt, so maybe the decals will come off. I will post some images of the car the way it looks now on my Instagram, so do check that out. And I'm hoping that you know I'll get some feedback as to how the car looks now. If you have enjoyed this rid, then definitely give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and uh, hit those notifications so you are informed whenever I upload another vid, whenever that is. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.